I'll tell you what, you want me to, you want me to be in a better city than, uh, than Boston. Obviously, uh, that team in 04 will be remembered forever. I think 1 through 25, no matter who you are. But uh, you, you always have love here. You always have love here. Just because that was, it's going to be the first one, no matter what, they can win a lot more after that. But for that 86 year, supposedly curse. But it's been a lot of fun. You know what? We just had such a great group of guys, and we were so close, and we were uh, just a family that, I mean, it wasn't one guy. It, even our superstars, which were Manny and Pedro and, and uh, Kurt Schilling and, you know, Big Poppy turned into a superstar. But they, we were just all one group. And, uh, I mean, all the big hits that Billy Miller had and, you know, everybody contributed. So, you know, when you think of that, that team, it's it's hard to pick out one guy. I think it's just it's that that squad. You know what? I've always been a baseball guy, but I mean the passion the East Coast had. I grew up on the West Coast, and I grew up a Dodger fan and listened to Ben Scully and and loved it. But there's nothing like East Coast baseball, and I think uh, you don't know what to expect until you play there. And I always say that you know people don't understand it, the passion until you're part of it, and. Uh, no, I didn't know what it, what, it, what it was like until I left here, and it's the only place to play. It's just it, they they bleed Red Sox baseball. Every pitch, every out, every loss, every win. I mean, they live it. I think the fans here in Boston live it. Uh, they care, and so it's it, it's not taking anything away from any other cities because there's great baseball towns all over the the states, but there's something magical here. And that's just a fact. Uh, you know, when you see a family of six going out in David Ortiz T-shirts or, or Manny or Pedro or whoever no, T-shirts they're wearing, they're going out to dinner. I mean, th th that's what they wear here. Um, it's just that's the passion. And other stadiums and other, and other cities, you know, you, you might have a Thursday day game. You're going to have half the, half the stadium is going to be empty, not, not in Boston. Yeah, you know what? It, the thing about... Like, I, I, me as, as a player person, I wore my heart on my sleeve and I said dumb things, but I, I, I spoke <laughs> from my gut. And you know what? When, when, when we all shaved our heads and we cowboyed up, it was like you didn't realize it was going to take a life of its own. You know, you were just popping off to the media because they were getting on Derek Lowe for leaving a game with a blister. Next thing you know, uh, the cowboy up saga took over and we ended up winning. So it worked out. Uh, but the shots of Jack Daniels, we weren't going to fall for the for the Yankee, Yankeeography. So we were going to take BP inside. And uh, every time we went to hit as a visiting player, they'd play some some Yankeeography stuff, and you're just up there watching these videos. And I told Frank, oh, no, we're not falling for it. So we went into this symbolic toast, as we like to call it. But all these little things in a market like this where people care, these are the stories that you remember when something special happens, like winning. That was, I think, the first time it's ever happened in history was an active player in the same division throwing a first pitch out. Uh, you know, at first I didn't know what to say, I didn't know what to do, I didn't. I just kind of said, well, I don't know, you gotta get, you gotta hold, get a hold of Andy McPhail or Mr. Angelos, or, but I can't make that decision. And they, they granted permission to Orioles, you know, and it was pretty cool because I, at that time the Red Sox were down to the Indians and I think they wanted Billy Miller to throw out like game three and I was gonna do game four, whatever it was. But I ended up coming out and doing it, and we had a blast. I mean, how often do you get a chance to throw a first pitch out? But it was very odd because I was still an active player <laughs> in the same division. Yeah, I just had I mean, Johnny Damon just stayed over the couple nights ago. They had a day off in Houston, so uh, I live over in Austin now. But he stayed over. We went on the boat and hung out and we had the kids and barbecued. And then, uh, you know, all the guys that you see, I mean, now, man, on this team, there's only a few left with Veritech and Wayfield and, and Ortiz. There's always that special relationship, you know. Um, see Billy Miller, you know, he's working with the Dodgers now. Mark Bellhorn is golfing in Arizona. Uh, but, yeah, you, you stay in touch as much as you can. People have their lives and stuff, but there's always that special chemistry that's going to be there forever. I'm very mad at myself. I left it in my hotel room, and I had it to bring on this thing, and we got rushing around because we were trying to make it for the... Uh, the radio interview, and I left it there. So I brought it for this trip, and here I have no ring on. So I'm ringless, and I apologize. Yeah, actually, Theo and I are very close still this day, and we're uh, probably gonna be going to dinner tonight, to be honest with you. So he, uh, you know what? When you have, when you have those kind of relationships, those never leave. I mean, you know, I think we made Theo who he is. I think he made us who we are. It's that, you know. 
mutual uh, two-way street that Theo appreciates the hard work of that team that he put together, what, what that team did for him. And now, you know, he's an icon in this city. And, uh, and I think it's a testament to the, the courage that he's had to just go on the limb once in a while. You don't always have to get the big name player. There's some ball players out there. And, you know, you're looking at what he's doing now with the club that he's, you know, put together for the old season team with Lester and Euclid and Pedroia and all these guys. Well, it was. It is, it was. It, you know, it's never, it's going to be there forever. And I think that's the cool thing. Like I said, that, that, that was the first one in 86 years. And I think everybody from 1 to 25 in that roster can come back here. And, uh, you know, it's going to be pretty great. Uh -oh.